What's that smell that, uh, that we're smelling? That's pine needles. We prefer to use pine needles because it smells good to us. It's not too obnoxious for the bees. Pat Haskell and her husband, Jim, are beekeeping hobbyists here in Northern Virginia. In the next few days, on April 1st, that'll be the day they and other beekeepers first begin collecting honey. This part up here is your drawn and sealed honey. And uh, now we'll just try to take a peek and find out where they're at. It looks to me like they're in the bottom box. So we'll go down a, a box. She estimates right now 30,000 bees are inside this hive. This is mainly pollen in the hive. You see the different colors of pollen that the bees are bringing in. They use the pollen to feed the young bees and to make royal jelly. And somewhere inside this hive is the queen bee, the mother and caretaker of all the young bees in this 10-gallon hive. She has this pretty much laid full of eggs and it, they're beginning to develop. And this is your capped larvae. This will hatch out with, in just a few days. The lifespan of the queen bee is several years, but she says local beekeepers are encouraged to introduce a new queen bee each year. Even among the tens of thousands of worker bees here, she quickly scans them and knows if she keeps looking, she'll eventually find the queen. You can't miss her if you see her. She should be big and fat and lazy looking. There she is. And what is, what is her interaction there? What is she doing there? Uh, she's trying to get away from us. <laughs> mm -hmm. She says local beekeeping hobbyists weren't directly affected by last year's colony collapse disorder in which bees just disappeared from commercial hives in part because she says bees in these conditions live a relatively pampered life. Pat Haskell says the bees in her hives keep coming back, a good thing for a beekeeper who has neighbors. She says a yearly bribe of fresh honey usually works. In Fairfax County, Neil Augenstein, WTOPnews.com.